वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टूडेज लेक्चर इज बेस्ड ऑन एनालिसिस ऑफ पावर रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर बिल्ड कन्वर सिस्टम आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग माई सेल्फ श्रीकांत इंगले डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग बेसिकली दिस लेक्चर इज बेस्ड ऑन द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बिल्ड कन्वेयर एंड देयर पावर रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर डिजाइन कंसेप्ट ऑफ दिस पावर रिक्वायरमेंट सो विल गो थ्रू दिस लाइट्स दिस इज जनरल ले आउट ऑफ ए बेल्ट कन्वेयर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द बेल्ट कन्वेयर द यूज ऑफ दिस बेल्ट कन्वेयर इज टू कन्वे मटीरियल फ्रॉम वन वर्क स्टेशन टू अनदर वर्क स्टेशन देर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कन्वेयर्स फर्स्ट इज फ्लैट बेल्ट कन्वेयर सेकेंड ट्रफ्ट बेल्ट कन्वेयर्स ब्लैंकेट बेल्ट कन्वेयर्स वोवन वायर काइंड ऑफ मेटलिक वायर्स इज यूज एंड देन दोवन वायर कन्वेयर्स आर यूज अगेन द मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ फ्लैट बेल्ट कन्वेयर चेन इज यूज एज अ कन्वेयर सिस्टम in case of chains uh, the load carrying capacity of the chain conveyor is higher again screw conveyors are also used to convey the uh, bulk material by using this screw mechanism here we can see uh, there is different types of pulleys are here this is a generalized uh, general layout of belt conveyor system this one is a drive pulley this is driven pulley drive pulley is again named as a head pulley and driven is called tail pulley this is a hopper or feeding mechanism uh, to supply the intake material these are some snub pulleys this and let us say this is a p1 p2 p3 p4 so these are the snub pulleys purpose of this pulleys is to uh, provide the direction to the belt this is a belt cleaner the use of this belt cleaner is to clean the belt after discharging the material this we can see this small pulleys over here those are carrying run idlers purpose of this idler is to support the belt whenever the uh, belt is carrying the material we can find the number of carrying run idlers are more than the return run idlers uh, return run idlers are used to support the belt which is moving idly on the pulleys so the number of ca carrying run idlers are always more than the carrier number of return run idlers here we can see there are uh, four different lengths are provided in this diagram l1 l2 l3 and l4 so these are the four different section of belt conveyor system So L1 is the first section between two different sub snub pulleys. L2 is in between this two different snub pulleys. L, uh, likewise, after tail pulley, the section is L3, and after this snub pulley, the section up to head pulley, it is a section four. So, in this type of belt conveyor system, we can see the material is lifting in section three. and then again material is passing horizontally and it is discharging from the drive pulley the drive pulley is rotating in a anti clockwise manner uh, same rotation is provided at <coughs> at tail pulley also so so before going to the analysis there are number of uh, frictional forces uh, resistance resistive forces uh, which which we have to consider uh, while designing a belt conveyor system so we'll go one by one very first one is the load resistance due to lifting of material so load resistance whenever the material is lifting we can see at section 3 the material is lifting upside so whenever the material is lifting at upside there are two different components we have to consider first one is along the uh, belt and second one is the perpendicular to the belt so second uh, perpendicular to belt if we take two components so for perpendicular we will get the wm means the you know, weight of material and cos alpha is the uh, perpendicular uh, component again second one is the component along the belt that is horizontal component so we can take it as a wm into sin alpha again we will solve this will get mm into lg sin alpha finally the fm that is load resistance due to lifting of material 
that is equal to mm g into h where g is gravity h is the height inclination height if we take this suppose this is l and uh, if we take this inclination this uh, height of this inclination with respect to horizontal surface then that h is uh, that height is equal to h where mm is uh, mass of material mass of material uh, carried by conveyor per unit length so unit of this mm is kg per meter or kg per mm second force is frictional resistance due to idlers as i have told you that belt conveyors have basically two major type of idlers first one is carrying run idler second is return run idler purpose of carrying run idler is to handle material that's why we can see the formula fcr fcr stands for the frictional resistance offered by the carrying run idler uh, and formula is fc into mm mm where mm is the mass of material per unit length second is mb mass of belt per unit length mi zc upon l into g into l so in case of carrying run idlers mm is to be considered because mm or uh, uh, in carrying run idler carrying run idlers handle materials that's why we have to consider mm mb is the mass of belt per unit length where mi is the mass of each idler that we have to consider and unit for the mass of each idler is kg zc is the number of carrying run idlers where l is the length of that certain section and g is for gravity so as we are seeing this earlier equation it was having mmgh so it is very much similar or it is equal to the potential energy as we are lifting material upside up or uh, from downside up and second force is uh, frictional resistance due to return run idler that is frr return run idler for return run idlers so in return run idlers we can see one difference here that is mm is uh, eliminated as the material is discharged from drive pulley so only mb plus mi zr upon l into g into lr so zr stands for the number of return run idlers where lr is the length of return run or uh, return run section next force is frictional resistance at pulley frictional resistance at pulley this we have to consider for individual pulley including drive and snub pulley also if there is some take up pulleys then that point we have to consider at that point also so this is fp for that certain pulley epsilon into f1 so f1 is the previous force which we have considered and we have to just multiply this epsilon factor or a uh, factor of factor for pulley epsilon stands for factor for pulley or we can say it is a angle of lap or snub factor simply snub factor so various values of this epsilon is given if epsilon uh, theta is less than 90 then this epsilon value ranges from 0.02 to 0.03 if it is in between 90 or 90 to 180 then the value is 0.03 to 0.04 and above 180 the value is 0.05 to 0.06 so this is a snub factor which we have to consider for pulleys next force is resistance at loading station resistance of at loading station we can say it is fl for a uh, loading force uh, so fl is given by capital m into v minus vi where m is the mass of material which is uh, carried over the belt so where v is the belt speed and vi is the component incoming material velocity along the belt line that means the material which is being introduced introduced on the belt uh, from hopper or feeder mechanism so 
difference of these two velocities are considered if uh, these values are given in problem then then it should be considered otherwise only belt speed is considered and vi is considered as zero if both the values are given then that case we have to consider this load this is the optional type of a load fl fl means uh, the capacity of conveyor or mass flow rate simply a mass flow rate we'll move to the next load that is frictional resistance at unloading station again same uh, this if these values are provided then that in that case we have to consider this unloading uh, load or some separate discharge mechanism is provided in that case we have to consider this load so pu uh, fu is equal to 3.1 to 3.6 this is a range into mm mass of material per unit length into gravity g and b stands for the belt width so this gives the formula for the friction, uh, frictional resistance at unloading station fu last is uh, the frictional resistance at cleaning station at, uh, as we have seen in the first diagram very first diagram one cleaner is provided uh, at the just after the drive pulley whenever the belt passes over drive pulley and discharges this material so the dirt and uh, dirt which is present and the uh, impurities or some particles present on the belt are swept out by using these cleaners so in this case the kcl factor is considered that is cleaning factor is present uh, that we have to consider again this is a uh, optional type of force which we have to consider so if kcl factor is given then we can consider that value or we can simply take the uh, these values we can assume this value 30 to 50 for plot type of cleaning device or we can consider this 2 to 6 vb for rotary brush and the formula for this frictional resistance at cleaning station is fcl is equal to kcl into g into b b is again belt width this is for the uh, number of return run idler and carrying run idler so pitch if we want to calculate pitch and uh, number of idlers then tr is equal to lr is the that certain section upon zr plus one similarly for uh, carrying run idler tc is equal to lc upon zc plus one so this is summary for this complete presentation these are the different values which uh, these are the various expressions which we have derived and various forces so one by one i'll repeat load resistance due to lifting of load this is equal to potential energy second is frictional resistance due to idlers in this we have to consider for carrying run and return run idlers third one is frictional resistance at pulley in which we have to consider snuff factor fourth frictional resistance at loading station in this which we are considering the build speed and material speed again fifth one is frictional resistance at unloading station depending on the unloading mechanism so the range is given 3.1 to 3.6 into mm gb and finally uh, cleaning uh, frictional resistance at cleaning station here we have to consider kcl there is one problem for uh, your assessment you can solve this problem try to solve this problem and determine this four standard values standard bed width reduction ratio of gear reducer number of carrying run and return run idlers and you can select a standard belt width from this given range thank you